Hello, I'm Lena Wynn and here's your CBS On The Go update. We begin with your CBS2 travel forecast. Here's meteorologist Craig Herrera. Hi there, Lena. Boy, we've got some severe weather moving through uh, right across the northern plains as we go through Saturday afternoon. A tail end of one system and then another one moves right through Chicago, bringing more scattered showers behind it over to St. Louis. A few scattered showers for Atlanta. And then as we go into Saturday afternoon, a little quiet across the, the northern plains. Still some monsoon moisture for the Four Corners region each afternoon as we go through the weekend. Notice more scattered showers over to St. Louis and Atlanta into Sunday. Highs across the lower 48 on Saturday afternoon, 93 in St. Louis, 90 and steamy in Atlanta. And we're going to see 101 in Las Vegas and Lena. Los Angeles, not quite as humid. Temperatures in the 80s, 90s and the warmer spots closer to 100 degrees. All right, Craig, thank you. 12 Russian intelligence agents have been charged with hacking Hillary Clinton's campaign manager and the Democratic National Committee. The Department of Justice says it was a clear effort to interfere in the 2016 election. Mola Lange reports from the White House. Deputy Attorney General Rod Rosenstein announced charges against a dozen Russian military intelligence officers for trying to interfere with the 2016 presidential election. The indictment spells out a cyber attack on the information security of Democrats, accusing the men of implanting malware and stealing information. They're also accused of taking that information and trying to influence voters' opinions. First, they use a scheme known as spear phishing, which involves sending misleading email messages. Second, the defendants hacked into computer networks and installed malicious software that allowed them to spy on users. Rosenstein said the indictment does not reflect partisan politics. It's important for us to avoid thinking politically as Republicans or Democrats and instead to think patriotically as Americans. President Trump was briefed on the indictment before leaving for his European trip, which includes a summit with Vladimir Putin. Earlier Friday, President Trump said that the ongoing Russia probe is complicating his relationship with Russia, but he did vow to address the meddling. I will absolutely bring that up. I don't think you'll have any, uh, gee, I did it, I did it, you got me. There won't be a Perry Mason here. Some Democrats say the president shouldn't meet with Putin alone. I want to make sure other Americans hear that the president makes this issue of Russian interference a priority in the meeting. Rosenstein said the hacking scheme did not have an effect on the vote count. Mola Lenghi, CBS News, the White House. And now here's your CBS On The Go Sports. The Dodgers' Chase Utley has announced that he will retire at the end of the season. Utley is a six-time All-Star and won a World Series ring in 2008 with the Philadelphia Phillies. Utley became a Dodger in 2015. His announcement comes a little over a week before he'll play the Phillies for the last time. The 39-year-old says he wants to focus on being a good dad. Immediately following CBS 2 News at 11 tonight, watch The Late Show with Stephen Colbert. His guests include actor Kerry Mulligan and scientist Kate the Chemist. And right after Colbert, watch The Late Late Show with James Corden. His guests are actors Tracy Morgan and Ike Barinholtz. Also musical guest Weezer. Watch Corden and Colbert right after CBS 2 News at 11. And that's your CBS On The Go update. Remember, we're always on at CBSLA.com. And join us every night for CBS 2 News at 5, 6, and 11.